Hey guys, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have zombie shows that are tanking. Today we're going to be talking about what the heck is going on with The Walking Dead, why is it still on the air, are we even still watching it? But first I'm going to need you to like this video and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me at KilljoyJake1 on Twitter. So now let's get into this video. So are we even still watching The Walking Dead at this point? Well, according to Deadline, the uh, season 10 premiere had a series low and like nobody's watching it anymore basically. AMC's hardly making money off the show so this will probably be the final season if I'm being totally honest with you. With only 4 million people still watching at this point, characters are actually being asked to be killed off because it's just not really going anywhere anymore. I haven't really liked the show personally since season one and we're gonna talk about exactly why. What what happened to this show that it started off so great, These this first season was incredible, and then from there it was just a downward spiral. Well we're gonna talk about a brilliant, brilliant man named Frank Darabont. If you don't know who Frank Darabont is, he's one of those guys that only selects certain projects, things he really believes in, doesn't work a lot, but when he does, it is masterful. Let me just name a few of his projects. The Green Mile, The Shawshank Redemption, The Mist, although not a lot of people like The Mist, I loved it personally. And then of course, season one of The Walking Dead. All masterful things in my, in my personal opinion. And if you watched season one, it was fantastic, it was awesome. But, and it's so different from the rest of the show, isn't it? Well, that's because it had Frank Darabont's special touch. And unfortunately, after season one, AMC wanted to make some changes. They wanted 16 episodes per season so that they could make more money on ad revenue. And they wanted to give, instead of a $3.4 million budget per episode, it would be about a $2.7 million budget. And that just was not going to cut it. Frank Darabont wanted these big explosive episodes. Only a couple, like maybe six to eight episodes. Giant zombie attacks, closing down the entire city of Atlanta just to film a giant zombie horde attacking Rick Grimes on a horse. That's just an example of one of the crazy things that happens in season one. And you don't really see that ever again in the rest of this show. It's really unfortunate because this show is... It started off so strong and has great characters. It, Let's say it had great characters. Now, I stopped watching after Glenn got killed. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! But I don't like, I don't, honest to God, season 2 to now season 10, I probably dislike. I've I've watched bits and pieces of 2, 3, 4, and scenes of season 5. I saw some Negan stuff going on, and it's just none of it's really that fantastic. I'm also a big fan of the comics. They didn't change a whole lot from the comics, but overall, I just felt like you could have made it more a a explosive. The comic does actually fall into some of the same problems that the show does, which is actually kind of ironic and funny because they both happened for different reasons. If you read the comics, they kind of just start to drag at some point. It gets to the point where the zombies being the bad guy is just, it gets old. It's a great idea in theory to have, because we've never really seen this if you think about it. The goal of The Walking Dead was to have a zombie apocalypse story go all the way to the end of either beating the zombies or killing all life on Earth. What the ending was supposed to be, I'm not 100% sure. I'm assuming probably killing the zombies. But I don't know, it is a pretty dark and gritty show, so maybe everyone just does die eventually. To what I remember, it just gets more dull and more dull and the Negan stuff and there's there's human bad guys and it's just like, it's, it's just a drama at that point with zombies. And the show has also devolved into that as well, but I guarantee you if Frank Darabont was on that, that, he would be fixing that crap like it was there was no tomorrow there'd be zombies running all over the place we'd be have less less of these human bad guys I don't really care about that and apparently Negan's a good guy now you don't just come back from killing Glenn the best character on the whole show oh and did I forget to talk about characters who got killed off in protest because Frank Darabont got kicked off the show let's talk about a dude named Jeffrey DeMunn now that guy played a certain character called Dale one of my other favorite characters on this show and he got he was asked to be killed killed off because it just wasn't the same after Frank Darabont got kicked off. He, he was killed off actually in a really weird way. It was just like a one little zombie attack and he's and he's gone. And, and when I saw that at first, I was like, what is going on? Did a little more research and that's why, because it was in protest. He didn't want to be a part of the show anymore because that was so, it, it just ruined the show. His touch made that show from gold to crap. 
Now, in all fairness, AMC did have to do something after the emails that Frank Darabont sent to many of the other producers and directors that uh, have been unnamed since. Frank Darabont actually said that he would go to, the, and don't quote me on this, I'm paraphrasing, but he said go to, he's going to go to their house and kill them with a brick if they don't get their S shite together. No, that's a lot of damage! Okay, that is a little aggressive, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> But like I said, AMC didn't really care because they wanted 16 episodes of basically crap. Because that's what happens That's what happens with each season of this show after season one. It starts off really good, the middle's just kind of filler stuff that happens, and then the ending's kind of cool. There's some explosive zombie attack, or maybe the governor comes in with a tank. That was actually pretty cool. Seasons three and four actually pretty solid, not gonna lie. But honestly, the big thing that happened with the show was Frank Darabont getting fired. Uh, but you know, honestly, that was pretty crappy. You don't just say you're gonna go to someone's house and kill them just because they don't do your show correctly. But he is a passionate guy. He wants his, he wants his things to go the way they're supposed to go. He probably shouldn't have sent those emails, but he definitely should have tried a little harder to get his, his input in to AMC because Yes, AMC has made a lot of money on this show, but is it a, a, a recognized show as it was back 10 years ago or however long it's been now? No, not really. In fact, only 4 million people are watching it, and remember in the days where it was breaking records because so many people were watching it? So is The Walking Dead still any good? Is it still worth watching? I don't really think so, if I'm being totally honest with you. Like I said, seasons 3 and 4 pick up a little bit. The governor's actually a really cool character, but it's still drama. I want to see zombies eating people, and, and Rick Grimes beating the crap out of them, and using his revolver and all that, and it just kind of... <laughs> It devolved. It just slowly and slowly devolved. AMC just kept making money on it because that first season was just so explosive. People remember that and they want to see that every season, but it doesn't quite live up to that. In fact, it gets worse every single season. So if you're still watching The Walking Dead and you're still enjoying it, great. I'm glad you enjoy it, but I just personally am just not a big fan of where this, the series has gone. And it's probably going to end soon anyways, considering that only 4 million people are watching. But thank you so much for watching my video on The Walking Dead. Please like this video and subscribe, even if you do like The Walking Dead. Plead your case in the comments for me. I love, I love people that disagree with me because this is, art is, art is art. We're gonna disagree and I love that. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at KilljoyJake1 and as always, keep on killing it out there, y'all.